Alright, hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time and I am finally back from Korea and Japan. Uh, if you guys don't know why I haven't um, been posting on my uh, YouTube channel, it's because I have been in Korea uh, for about two and a half weeks and I traveled to Japan too within that three weeks. Um, I actually tried to film and I wanted to upload while I was in Korea but it just stuff went, um, didn't go as smoothly and I didn't have enough time as much as I thought I would so um, I just gave up on that and I decided to just enjoy um, and kind of yeah enjoy Korea and Japan more you know since I couldn't upload anyways but um, today I will make uh, this week I got back this Monday so I'm still a little jet lagged so I'm just like uh, everywhere <laughs> Today I wanted to just start off easy I guess but um, definitely in Korea and Japan I've been influenced all these food, all these restaurants, street food I was so inspired and I got so many good ideas so I'm really excited to share with you guys and today is actually one of the um, things that I saw in Korea I got a bunch of little cute stuff from uh, while, while I was traveling so I definitely want to share it with you guys and if you guys follow me on Instagram you guys know that um, I took so many, a lot of photos of food and what I ate while I was traveling and you guys know that um, I, I really wanted to share all these um, recipes with you guys so today I am making hamburger cup rice um, it's not exactly the same because I actually haven't ate I didn't this is something that I saw on the streets, but I didn't want to really eat it because I thought, oh, maybe something that I could make it at home. So um, I actually didn't eat it, but I kind of looked at it, looked how they're making it. So um, and I kind of switched it around a little bit. Uh, so hopefully it'll taste good because <laughs> this is my first time making it, and hopefully it's easy, and hopefully you guys can uh, follow the recipe. But before I start, I have a lot to <laughs> I have a lot to say. Sorry, sorry if I talk a lot and a lot of you guys don't like me talking a lot in my mukbangs but bear with me starting next week I will talk less but it's just, I have a lot of stuff to catch on uh, so before I went to Korea I got a I got an email from this company called Key, Key USA sorry I should really prepare more so I got an email from Key Company USA they are basically a Korean kitchen distribution distribution company and um, for 2016 December, um, they're doing a holiday giveaway and basically they e emailed me to see if I would like to share that with you guys on my YouTube and I was like, yeah, totally because it's their giveaway is actually really cool. They're doing some um, kitchen goodies, which I, is totally like my kind of giveaway and they actually sent me the products that will be um, that's part of the giveaway and I wanted to share that with you guys and I wanted to sh um, show you guys how you know like amazing they are because so far because as far as I know all these brands that they're giving away I heard of it you know it's something that even my mom uses and they know it's known to be a really good product so I really did wanted to share this um, giveaway with you guys because I know that this is is pretty good deal I think um, so before I start I just want to go through about this giveaway so skip if you don't want to listen I will link everything down below if you couldn't really understand me and if you want um, more detail, definitely check out my description box but right now, okay so for this holiday giveaway, it already started um, it's November 28th, 2016 which started on Monday it ends in December 26th so for this giveaway, there will be 10 winners to receive all the prizes 3 winners will win the so, so basically three winners will win like the what is this a bundle prices uh which includes so this rice cooker is pretty good it's really expensive i actually used it before today before i started filming so this rice cooker amazing this is really like advanced for me i always use a really crappy rice cookers and after i started using this i'm like oh my god my rice seriously tastes so much better and yeah and also, within that bundle, it comes with the three. Um, it comes with this frying pan. It's nicely coated. <laughs> this is the first frying pan, and it also comes with this wok. It looks like that. This one's a little steeper, which is really perfect for deep frying stuff. 
or if you're just deep, um, stir frying anything, you know, like a wok. Uh, but usually, like something with frying pans like this, I really like deep, um, using uh, it to deep fry like fried chicken. And it also the it also comes with the lid that fits for this frying pan and the wok. And then within the bundle, the last item is this, wow, this is actually really big. I thought it was a lot smaller, but it comes with this pot. Uh, also comes with the lid. And then Wow, this is huge! Oh my god, it comes with this little red, pretty red, perfect for Christmas pot. So that's really pretty actually. That's actually a lot bigger than I thought, so which is good. Okay, and then so the three winners will win all of that. And one winner will win which one is this one? There's going to be another winner that's going to win this rice cooker and there's going to be three winners another three winners that's going to win the frying pan and the wok with the lid that's going to be another um prize another pr there's going to be another prize and there's going to be another three winners that's going to win this red pot so total of 10 winners and to enter this giveaway you have to fill out and complete a, complete a registration form and it says that it's optional, but to increase your chance of winning, you should follow, you can uh, follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, obviously, you need an uh, account to uh, like anything or be follow them on Instagram and Facebook. You guys know that. So if you, yeah, I guess if you do that, you will have a higher chance of winning, which is not, if, I mean, I'm sure everyone has, if you're watching this, I'm sure you have a YouTube account. But yeah, this, that's like the basic information, but there are, you guys should definitely read this over. Uh, you have to be 18 or older and, and all that. So I will link everything down below, but enough talking, let's start. And within this week and next week, you guys will see me using this a lot. I mean, why not? They're really good products anyways. So let's start. Okay, my rice is actually, um, I cooked it already So I just want to the thing about rice is after you cook it you should really kind of mix it around But my rice came out really good Okay And this rice cooker talks a lot uh, as soon as I plug in it says hello in Korean I don't know if I can change to English setting but I'll let you guys know if I find out but yeah and then when it starts cooking it talks I don't know during the halfway it reminds you and when it's about to be done it reminds you and it tells you to stir the rice after it's done I don't know it, it talks a lot but I'm pretty sure there's like a option where you can turn it off if you don't like it but anyways my rice is done so I'm going to actually leave this on the side uh uh okay and then this is going to be my ingredients. Okay, let's just start cooking. I know I've been like rambling a lot, but I will just link everything down below because sometimes it's easier to read than listen, especially um, if I talk. So I know that, so I will link everything down below. And those are like all the boxes. It's cute, right? It's under my Christmas tree. And my Christmas tree is not complete. It's actually not done yet. It's not. I'm not done uh, decorating it. I just ordered a couple more stuff on Amazon. So hopefully, it's not gonna be. It. I want to keep it simple, but you know, still more kind of more festive than this. Um, but lower this. What I want to do is I am going to add. I have this is a turkey patty. Okay, I am making three because I think I'm gonna eat two and give one for Tom. Okay. Perfect. It's just three patties. You see that? Perfect. Okay. I want to let them cook for a little bit, and then I am going to add my bulgogi sauce. So it's going to be my bulgogi hamburger cup rice. Bulgogi is like a sweet and salty sauce. 
Um, I will write everything down in the description box what um, the ingredients to make the sauce. But uh, make sure I can see. It just looks like that. It's really good. It's sweet, and I think a majority of people will like this kind of taste. Because I know that a lot of Korean food, um, it's very different. So some people, you know, like have hard time uh, enjoying it. But something like bulgogi sauce, I think majority it tastes like barbecue sauce, anyways. You know, so I think you guys will like it if you haven't tried it yet. Okay. Good. And but. I'm going to be talking about Korea and Japan a lot within the next couple of weeks, but the food... I mean, it's obviously good, but I think I was more amazed by how many, like, ver like what kind of variety of restaurants and street food they offered, which is so crazy. And every time I saw something new, I, was, I literally was so shocked how creative they got, you know? So I got a lot of ideas, um, I took a lot of photos, which, you know, might not even be on Instagram, but I wanted to keep it for me, so I could, um, kind of make it later, eventually, and share it with you guys. Okay. Mmm. Wow, this is good, this is super non-sticky <laughs> okay i'm gonna cook this a little bit longer and i'm going to add the sauce okay, this way. okay. i'm going to let it simmer but while we wait for these guys to cook, I'm going to add some rice. So the rice cooker, cooker comes with this measuring cu measuring cup and this scoop for rice. Okay. Should I add a lot of rice actually? Should I add a little rice? I don't know. Is that too much? No. Oh. When I saw the giveaway prices, I was actually really shocked about the rice cooker because this rice cooker is really, really, it's very good quality and they're pretty expensive and i don't know i'm very lucky to be part of it you know so okay so i just added some rice kind of like three-fourths of the cup okay wow this is good okay i'm gonna flip it around a little bit And if this tastes good, I should open like a kiosk because you know you can't really open like a sh open street food unless I could open food truck. You know, <laughs> if this tastes good. That is okay. So it looks like that so far, and I'm going to add the sauce. Just because I have a lot of rice, so I need them to. Maybe two scoops. Okay. Mm. Going to add some cheddar cheese. Some 
and egg milk, cheddar cheese. Oh, I'm like hungry. You know when you're hungry, you kind of shiver. Is it just me? Mm. Here and then I am going to add uh, some shredded lettuce. Ooh, okay, okay. This actually looks pretty good. Okay. Then I'm going to put some. Okay, before I do that, I'm gonna put my. Because I'm gonna eat this with sweet potatoes. Should I eat those sweet potatoes? Okay, I'm gonna cook some sweet potatoes. Hold on. And, okay, I think I'm just going to add some mayo on top. I don't know. If you wanna add ketchup, maybe I'll add ketchup in one of them. Hold on. But I don't think ketchup will taste good. Okay. Some mayo. Oops. It's a lot of mayo. Madam, I'm going to try to add the okonomiyaki sauce and see how that'll taste. But I think it might be too much. Okay, that's that's good. Like that. Ta-da! Okay, I'm gonna set up the table. I just want to cut it open and to show it to you guys. You know, I think that might be... It's like a little bit... I got these cups from Korea for like a dollar or something. Oh! Okay. So it looks like that. It looks pretty good, no? I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. No. Catch up here. Okay. Let's try. Hmm. So how do I eat this? Take a bite out. Okay. Oh, this is actually really good. You know, but another, but actually, because it is cup rice, and for some people who want to mix it all together before they eat it, maybe instead of using the patty, maybe I could just use the, uh, I mean like ground beef that before it becomes patty. So it might be easier to mix it around. Good. Yeah, definitely. No. Oh, I forgot there's a cheese. There's cheese too. Okay, it might not look appetizing, but it's actually really good. I definitely need kimchi for this. This is so good. Wow. Wow. This is pretty good. Hamburger cup rice. one that I saw in Korea the cup rice was wasn't actually like hamburger hamburger I think they called it hamburger because it was like in layers like rice and like spam seaweed or something like that I think that's what it was called hamburger cup rice but I don't think they actually use a burger and patty and lettuce and all that I'm not sure I didn't eat it I just saw it so
Ну? Ты так понял, не кинься под нас. Хорошо. Yeah, you definitely need kimchi for this. Yeah, this is so good. I like it. Oh. But I don't know if I can actually eat two cups. Uh-uh. Definitely in your computer. Yeah. Mm. I think the sauce is pretty good. I could use a little bit more of that sweet sauce. It's honestly not that bad. I think there will be people who will like this the way it is, but if I were to open like a kiosk for this or a restaurant, I would definitely have options <coughs> for spicy and non-spicy. Christmas tree. Don't you think this is so worth it? Seven bucks? No, this is like calling for kimchi. <laughs> mm. 
You know that feeling? You come home from a vacation. It feels like you never left. I felt it instantly. I'm gonna fall. I don't think I could eat this. Let me just try it with the sauce then. My kimchi really, really hits the spot for this. all that but I think that's it I can't I don't think I'll be able to eat this need some fries though but no I feel like me talking about Korea and Japan won't um like a vi one video wouldn't do but it's just a lot of stuff happened you know a lot of stuff I felt a lot of stuff I saw something I just can't explain over one video so but definitely Throughout this trip, it was three weeks. Yeah, we were there for almost three weeks. I was with Tong 24-7 for three weeks. I learned a lot about myself. About, about myself, yeah. And I learned a lot about Tong. I learned a, a lot about our relationship. In a very good way. In a really good way. And... Oh yeah, the one thing that I actually really wanted to talk about in today's video was that So I used to love um, I, w I always get excited to ride on the plane I just love the plane I mean like some people are like, you know, you're stuck in such a short, like a small area for 14 hours Especially if you're going to Korea or somewhere far I'm like, you know, I don't know, I still don't mind, you know, like, people serve you food, you know, I, I just sleep and eat and watch TV for 14 hours, like, you know. And I've, uh, personally, I'm not that uncomfortable. So I will always look forward to it. The excitement of going somewhere, you know. But everything, throughout this trip, I went on the plane six times. Going to Korea, going to Jeju and coming back to Korea. Went to Japan, coming back from Japan, and I'm coming back to USA six times within the three weeks. I went the plane for on the plane for six times, and it was fine. Like all the five flights out of six, they were completely fine. But on my on my way back to the states, I literally got I I would die. I never I was never that scared. I was never that um, sure of you know, dying. I was so sure that I would die that day. And I was so sad because, oh, I wanted to say, I wanted to see Ame for the last time. I wanted, like, I wanted to see my parents and my family and friends for the last time. I was just so sad because the turbulence was so, so bad. 
Well, for me at least, because I, all the turbulence that I experienced when I was on the plane, it was just like, you know, like, oh, okay, like, okay. You know, that small movement, but this turbulence, the, we were right above the sea, like no land. And that's where, you know, like, there's a borderline where the date and like the time changes, you know, going to Korea to America. And with around the area, around the area um, where we were just completely over the sea. It was the worst turbulence I ever experienced in my life. The it's not it wasn't just shaking right and left. It was the plane was dropping and going up and down. The plane was literally you know you felt the drop, and once I felt it, I was like I literally thought we were gonna crash. And even the flight attendants were announcing like you know usually like when there's turbulence they're like oh can you put it on your belt and just sit down and don't try not to use the bathroom, and but this time. <coughs> the flight attendants were like, can you make sure your um, seatbelts are tight? Make sure don't go anywhere because we are experiencing severe, extremely severe turbulence. And when I heard that, I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to die. I am going to die because everyone, they seem so serious about it, you know? But funny thing is, Tom was sleeping next to me. I'm like, Tom, oh my god, this is turbulent. Do you feel that? I'm so scared. And he was like, he was just sleeping. I'm like, how do you sleep through this? And I looked around, everybody was sleeping. I'm like, people, do you not see that our plane is about to crash and we're about to die? Nobody, nobody cared. Everyone was sleeping. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, okay, then it's up to me to pray for our plane. So I was just sitting there, I was just praying, I was just promising a lot of things <laughs> and stuff that I would do if I, you know, stay alive and land safely to America. I promise a lot of things, okay? And that that turbulence went up for at least an hour. And, you know, I was up for an hour. I was, you know, like in front of um, the airline that I went to, um, Asiana. They have a little screen and they show exactly where you are. Like they show a map and they show your plane where you are. And we were like still above the sea. And until, because we, we were approaching Alaska and Seattle. And, um... Until we were, over, we were, our plane was over the land, over any land. I was just looking at it. I was praying. I'm like, oh my god, because I thought that being over the sea, like, cause you know, turbulence is caused by like weather change or like some kind of weather. So I'm like, okay, maybe if we're above the land, we'll be better. So I was just praying, and I was just sitting there looking at the map until we were, you know, like a little bit settling down. We're above the land, and then. I went back to sleep because I realized that, okay, our plan is safe now. So, and, so yeah, I was scared. I was tearing up and I can't believe Tom was, Tom was sleeping through that. I can't believe everyone slept through that. And I was so scared and I missed everyone. I, people, I missed all the trolls on YouTube. I missed all of you guys. I missed my family, my dog, and people I hated in my life. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be so nice to them. I'm going to love them. You know, I'm going to... Because it can't be worse than me about to die through a plane crash, you know? So I was so scared. I just regretted a lot of things at the moment. And I appreciated my life a lot. So when we landed safely, I just was so thankful that I was alive. And um, because, you know, like, more than, yeah, you're scared of the death and all, but more than that, you just, you know, at that moment when you feel like you're gonna die, you feel like, oh my god, I haven't done so many things, you know, I regret a lot of things in my life, you know, I could have changed this, I could have acted this way, and when I felt that, it's like, you know what, when I go back, I really gotta live like that, because you just never know when you're gonna die, I don't know how this, you know, my story is becoming so depressing and sad, but you just don't know when you're gonna die. So you gotta really live your day as if, you know, today is your last day, as if there's no tomorrow. And I was never that thankful in my life that that plane didn't crash. And thank you, you know, like I appreciated everyone on the plane. I was actually very annoyed that day because everyone was just kind of loud and babies crying i mean nothing wrong with that but you know it does annoy you though i mean i'm not saying babies shouldn't cry but it, it does annoy you you want to have nice sleep and you see a bunch of people carrying around their babies walking around the aisle i'm just like dude i'm trying to sleep you know but and i know that you know there's nothing wrong with that but you know, i was still a little annoyed so i was just like oh, oh my god this sucks you know but 
after the turbulence, I'm like, you know what, you guys can walk around, let the babies cry. <laughs> as long as I'm alive, you know, I'll be okay. So, for now, I'm gonna try to avoid riding the plane. I'm gonna drive everywhere. I mean, not that, because I do believe that if you're meant to die, you're meant to die, you know? So you can't really avoid death. That's kind of what I believe. But still, you know, you're a little scared about the, the plane. Like, I don't want to say that plane is a lot more dangerous than the cars. Because it just depends, you know? But still, like, at least when you're driving, you have control over it. You know, so it's not like I know how to fly a plane. So <sighs> I'm full. Mm. That was a very good meal. I hope you guys get to try this out. It's very good. And I don't know why. I ate a lot in Korea. But I feel like after I came back, I just can't eat as much. Because I think it's because in Korea, um, Tony and I had at least four meals a day. And we would eat street food all the time. But we were constantly going somewhere, walking around. Um... Yeah, we're always like, shopping, walking around, sightseeing, so we're always moving, so we digested pretty fast, and we were kind of always hungry in a way. But now that I'm back, you know, like, I'm just always home now, so maybe that's why I can't eat a lot right now, but, um, yeah, I will come back tomorrow. I will, I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. I don't know what it will be yet, but definitely... Guys, check out this website. It will be everything will be in my description box. Check out this giveaway. Like them on Instagram, Facebook, follow them on YouTube so you have a higher chance of winning. It's Christmas, it's holiday. Let's be happy. Let's be thankful for everything. Um I can't wait until I finish decorating this tree because it looks so so sad right now. But this tree is freaking huge. We actually went to go pick it up at this grocery store. It was $35, I think. But we went to go pick it up. Uh, Tong and I actually never had a real tree before. Uh, so we thought, you know, okay, we got, since we are vlogging now, maybe we could use that as an excuse to excuse to buy a real tree. And we did. Um, because artificial trees, they, yeah, they last longer. Um, but it's just not the same, you know? The, the house smells good, I think. Maybe just my head. I don't know, but... Um, thanks for watching guys. I am so glad to be back. I'm so glad to be in front of the camera again talk to you guys and just be, be just be me again. I'm so thankful. I'm grateful and I can't wait until I upload all the vlog, all the clips from Korea and Japan and Jeju-do. I can't wait to share just my experience with you guys and all the recipes I learned from while, while I was traveling. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe and like the video. Bye!